welcome back in the last session we have started with the last module of our syllabus in which we have learned about the introduction part of quantitative approach to decision making and we have discussed some of the models with regard to that let us discuss in detail some of the various important models that has been used by the decision maker in dealing day to day issues with regard to the operations in the business next on deterministic and probabilistic models the models may be deterministic and it may be probabilistic so what is the meaning of deterministic and probabilistic in deterministic model everything is defined and the results are certain for example we use eoq method eoq method means economic order quantity it is a model that is used in the inventory department to identify the correct level for maintaining the inventory that is known as when to order the materials when when to order the materials or when to order the raw materials or when to order inventory so this is an actually a model that is used by the inventory department so what is the meaning of deterministic means if you use that model it will give a precise result for example eoq helps the inventory department to identify when to buy materials or what is the point in which the uh, department should take initiating to purchase raw materials it, the result will be very specific L if you if i use the eoq model i will get the result like this you have to buy the certain uh, you will get a value like 4000 units 4000 units means whenever my store comes to the 4000 units i should make necessary arrangements to buy the next set of inventory that is the meaning of deterministic model models that give precise values or instruction with regard to the operations so with the help of eoq the inventory department can easily determine the economic load size whereas the in probabilistic model as a term suggests it will give a probable chance for the occurrence of a certain event we have learned about probability and i know you all guys know what is the meaning of probability and how a probability works the same procedure is also applicable in case of a probabilistic models in probabilistic models otherwise probabilistic model is otherwise known as stochastic model s t o c h a s t i c stochastic means uh, we are pl uh, pro planning in advance or something related to future it may or may not happen that is the meaning so the, since the occurrence of the event is uncertain there is a chance of risk therefore the input and output variable assume probability distribution and we have learned about many problems and many cases with regard to probability we know well what is meant by probability because in probabilistic probabilistic model or in probability we can express the outcome in terms of chance we have learned about the meaning of how the probability works whenever we are studying the chance of occurrence of a event it will give a certain value with regard to whether it will happen or not there is a certain percentage chance that it might may or may not happen like why so that is the meaning of deterministic and probabilistic model there are two types of model one will give x and y or values with regard to any, anything related to business but the pro in case of probabilistic model it will give a chance whether the it will happen or not it is there is a percentage chance that it might happen likewise there is some sort of uncertainty with regard to results of probabilistic models next type of models are static and dynamic models static models are those which do not take time into account They, during the computation part they don't consider the time fact example correlation correlation we haven't learned anything about time we study relationship between x or variable or y variable studying the value of x on the basis of y likewise there is no factors with regard to the time we have to consider during the computation part 
it is based on the assumption that the values of the variables do not change with time during a particular period that is known as static models as the term such as static static means uh, it doesn't change or it will remain fixed it doesn't change with the time the time factor is not considered in case of static models whereas in dynamic models it considers the time as an important factor while dealing with any of the issues for example replacement uh, you haven't learned about the replacement concept replacement concept is actually a problem solving model that is used by a business or a concern who wants to replace its fixed assets yes there is a method for used by the concerns that when to replace a fixed asset there is a problem solving technique for uh, replacing asset that is known as replacement theory in replacement theory the one of the important factor that has to be considered is time and we know in depreciation computation of depreciation we consider as time so that is a logical factor whenever you you consider the time with regard to anything that is known as dynamic model but um, in most of the problems we are not considering about the time factor so most of the problems you, we are dealing or we are going to deal is static model so that's it, the difference between static and dynamic models next one this is uh, another important area programming models programming models we have learned about this kind of programming models in the first module because there is a classification on the base of different heads there are three different classification for quantitative techniques for decision making and one of the classification was programming techniques so all the points under that same technique is also applicable in here also for the time being let us refresh or freshen up our memory with regard to the topics which we have learned in the first module first one allocation model in allocation model as a term suggests in involves all those tools and techniques for the allocation of resources to activities in such a manner that sum of the measure of effectiveness is optimized in this allocation models are there are certain models under allocation models those models are used for the optimum utilization of resources so that the organization can earn maximum profit or minimize the loss or cost and in this model there will be an objective function there will be an objective what is the object objective will be to maximize profit and for achieving that there are certain constraints that has to be considered for achieving maximum profit we have one of the constraint is sell more goods or we have to in uh, fight against competitors it's a constraint we have to consider the dynamic business environment i have to capture more market share these are the factors that has to be considered and it is known as constraints so allocation models means efficient utilization it include it models that such models are used for the efficient and effective utilization of resources so as to achieve the objective function of maximizing profit or minimizing loss we will discuss about the allocation models because we have to learn some of the problems with regard to allocation models at that time we will discuss in detail what are the what is meant by objective function what is meant by constraints what are the variables that has to be considered likewise next one sequencing model sequencing model has a term as a term such as sequencing means certain order such models are used to bring order in the operation of an activity that is known as sequencing model they are concerned with placing items in certain sequence or order of the service that is known as sequencing model if you want to bring a certain uh, a pattern for doing activities within the business we will use sequencing order next one waiting line or queuing model we have learned about waiting or queuing model in the first module because this models are used to maintain queue in among the consumers or whenever there is a crowd approaching the queues are implemented in such areas 
why this queuing theory is used? It is used to minimize the cost of servicing and waiting. Next one, inventory model. I have mentioned about the inventory model during EOQ. The same concept is known as inventory model. Not only EOQ is there, there are many such models in the inventory model for maintaining how many levels or how many, how, how, what should be the level of inventory or what should be the level of raw materials likewise. There are certain models under inventory model. You will learn about inventory model in your cost accounting areas. Next one, competitive strategy model, otherwise known as game theory. We have learned about the game theory in the first module. It is actually a concept that is used between uh, two persons in a game where uh, the player has to use his strategy to win over or gain over his competitors. So the same thing is applicable in the business also. We have to fight against our competitors. For that, we have to plan various strategies. So such concept is known as game theory or otherwise known as competitive strategy models. Next one, decision models. Decision theory concerns with making sound decisions under conditions of certainty, risk and uncertainty. I have mentioned about that. Decision models are used to select a suitable strategy to achieve some object or goal under different conditions. Condition means under risk, certainty and uncertainty. Next one, network models. Network models involve determination of an optimum sequence of performing certain operations concerning some jobs in order to minimize all time or cost. Usually these models are applicable in case of big projects like construction of a dam, construction of a building, uh, a mission to send a spacecraft to the another planet. These are some of the examples of network models because network models are those models that are applicable in various projects that require more time to complete. Usually they will be big projects, they will be a lifetime one time projects. Usually in such areas we will be using network and some and important two different types of network models are CPM and PERT. We will study in detail about CPM and PERT in your higher classes. Next one, simulation model. Simulation, I hope you all know the term simulation. Simulation is a technique of testing a model which resembles a real life situation. This technique is used to imitate an operation prior to actual performance. The best example of simulation model is, I hope you all heard about the term crash test of car and bikes. Usually in our country, uh, they conduct ca crash test of car. Crash test of car means the company before introducing anything in the market, they will undergo their product under various tests. And some of the tests is known as crash test. How their car will behave during various accidents that they create in order to study how the car will react to a situation in real life. So they will conduct different accident situations. That is known as simulation. Simulation means recreating a real environment. That is the meaning of simulation. And uh, car companies will create different situations like uh, hitting a ongoing car or hitting a wall, hitting a pedestrian, like that. They will try different crash tests. Actually, these are simulations. For a person hitting a pedestrian, they are not using real person. They are using dummies. So they are trying to replicate a real life situation. That is known as simulation models. Next one, search models. We have learned about the search model in the first module. The model concerns itself with the search problems. How we are going to search for something. There is a certain model for hiding searching something. We need not have to spend lot of money and time for searching something. By using search model, you can easily search whatever you are looking for. So a search problem is characterized by the need for designing a procedure to collect information on the basis of which one or more decisions are made. And finally, replacement models. I have discussed about replacement model previously. 
in the case of dynamic model replacement model the same concept is known as a replacement model so these are some of the important programming models there are a lot of models with regard to the programming models these are some of the main and the important models that has to be kept in mind and finally solutions to models because solving a model consists of finding the values of the variables that give maximum performance or results for the organization and we have learned about different models that helps in decision making one of the important methods of solving model is analytical model in this method all the tools and classical mathematics such as differential calculation there are various methods that are used for mathematical application in a model and that helps the decision maker in taking decision but whenever a classical model or whenever any any of the model which we have learned whenever those any of these models fail to deal a situation in that situation we use iterative process or iterative procedure iterative procedure is actually a measure that is used whenever our models fail so in the iterative method we start with the trial solution and the trial solution is improved by giving rules we will try different variables for each situation changing one variable to another another variable to this variable we keep on trying changes to the models and solution this process is of improvement is repeated until either no further improvement is possible or the cost of further calculation cannot be justified and there is also another method to solve such a kind of situation other that is known as monte carlo technique we will deal with monte carlo technique in your higher classes so these are the various models and techniques that has to be considered while taking decision making and uh, each of the decision maker will consider these methods while dealing with daily dynamic diversify the problems in business so these are the factors and concept and theoretical con aspects with regard to the modeling concept because we in decision making we have begin with model concept and let us go to the next important area that is known as decision theory in this area we will deal with some of the models and at the same time we have to deal with some of the models that has to be used by a decision making in solving problems so that is we have to deal some of the problem areas under this section so as per the decision theory we all know what is meant by decision theory and what is the meaning of decision who takes decision what are the factors that has to be considered in decision we all know those areas decision is a process of choosing an alternative course of action when a number of alternative exists decision decision making is an everyday process in life it is a major part of manager's role the decision taken by a manager has far reaching effect on the business right decision will be salutary effect and wrong one may be a failure to the business so while taking decision manager has to make sure what type of decision he has to take or what type of decision he has to deal with so decision may be tactical or strategic tactical decisions are those which affects the business in the short term whereas strategic decisions are those which have far reaching effect during the course of the business there is a big difference between tactical decisions and strategic decisions and broadly defining statistical decision theory otherwise known as decision theory is a term used to apply those methods for solving decision problems in which uncertainty play a crucial role so that is the factor because in everyday life every organization whether large or small whether it is a multinational concern or a international concern whatever it is the management has to take some decisions knowing the certain events beyond their control there are factors that are under control and out of control 
So he has to consider the control may occur may to make them regret the decision. So the management is uncertain to whether the certain event will happen or not. In such situation, the best possible decision can be made by the use of statistical methods. Yes. In case of an uncertainty situation or we are not sure about the events that are going to happen, in that cases, it is best to use statistical method. Because the, such methods try to minimize the degree to which the person is likely to regret the decision. That is the factor. Statistical decision give an edge over other methods. So, during various stages in decision making, the manager has to consider the need for decision making, what are the objectives that has to be considered, what are the information that has to be considered, what are the alternative solutions for dealing with each of these problems. So before we go further into that, the decision maker must have an idea about the components in which the area is operating. The area is operating means taking decisions. Why he is taking decisions? He is taking decision to solve a problem. So let us discuss in detail what are the components that has to be considered with regard to a decision problem. So a decision problem consists of decision maker, we will discuss about this point, decision maker, it consists of acts and strategies, it consists of events and it consists of various outcomes. So these are the various components of decision problems, but we will discuss in detail each of these problems. First one, decision maker. We all know what is the meaning of decision maker. Decision maker is one who takes decisions. So the decision maker is the person is charged with the responsibility of taking or making the decision. That is, he has to select one from a set of possible alternative courses of action. That is known as decision maker. Acts or strategies or otherwise known as courses of action. Then what are the action he has to take? That is the meaning. Acts are the alternative courses of actions or strategies that are available to the decision maker. The decision maker, if he has to deal a certain problem, and there will be different solutions for his problem. So, which uh, solution has to be selected? That is the concept. The decision involves a selection among two or more alternative courses of action. The problem is which solution has to be selected. The problem is to choose the best of these alternatives. That is the issue. So the decision maker has to choose from the best alternatives also out of the different alternatives which he has to solve the persisting existing problem. That is known as acts. Next one, events. Events otherwise known as state of nature. Events are the occurrences which affect the achievement of the objectives. They are also called states of nature. The events constitute a mutually exclusive and exhaustive set of outcomes which describe the possible behavior of the environment in which the decision is made. The decision maker has no control over the situation or environment which will take place and can only attach a subjective probability for the occurrence of such. That is, if he has come across an issue and he has many alternatives, if he selects one of the alternatives, what are the outcomes that has that are going to happen because of selecting that alternative? That is known as events. The results of the selection of alternative is known as events. Next one, outcomes. This is the final one. By selecting an alternative, it will be associated with many such events that is known as events or e actions that might occur because of the selection of alternative. And finally, this is the outcome of that decision. The outcome then of a decision means, otherwise known as conditional value, that is, when the decision maker selects a particular act under a particular state of nature, the result obtained is called outcomes. Outcomes may be evaluated in terms of profit 
or cost or opportunity loss or utility in simple words it means the outcome may be positive outcome or a negative outcome positive outcome means in case we can expect the result in the form of profits and in the loss outcome means in opportunity loss otherwise known as regret table regret table means what are the negative effects of that decision that is known as regret table in the computation part we will be preparing um, methods or tables on the base of these two areas payoff and opportunity loss payoff means positive results that means profits like that and opportunity loss means with regard to loss what are the uh, negative effects of that particular decision that is known as opportunity loss or regret and in payoff we can be interpreted as the outcome in quantitative form when the decision maker adopts a particular strategy under a particular state of nature it is a monetary gain of that particular outcome whereas an opportunity loss otherwise known as regret table we use a regret table is the loss incurred because of the failure to take the best possible decision not always the managers are best in selecting the best alternative they are human beings they might fail so the result will be failure that in order to study that the regret table or opportunity loss is considered opportunity loss are calculated separately for each state of nature that might occur so these are the various factors that has to be considered with regard to the preparation of models so these are the term that has to be considered because during the problem area or computation area you may come across these terms acts events and outcomes acts is the alternative uh, options that are available that are available to be de decision maker or a businessman to take or to be selected events means the outcome that will affect the achievement of the objective the situation may be favorable or the situation may be unfavorable which is beyond the control our events are always beyond our control the only thing is that we can analyze the events and make a probability that such an if there is a probability that such a situation might come or certain certain percentage that the situation will be like this and all that is known as events and the selection of the strategy and the events will leads to the final outcome so these are the situation that has to be considered acts events and outcomes and the problem will be mainly on the base of either payoff table or regret table on the base of that you have to select the decision so some you will be given a payoff table will be given usually the uh, terms or the values will be represented in the form of table two type two types of tables are there payoff table and regret table otherwise known as opportunity loss table so these are the some of the cases with regard to that we will discuss in detail what is the meaning of payoff table what is the meaning of regret table how a payoff table is prepared and how a regret table is prepared from a payoff table that is also an important area and we will study in detail the different types of decision making under various situations which i have mentioned at the beginning of this module so until now just go through all these area if you have any queries please let me know we will discuss about the further cases in the next session